Cape Knoxville Beautiful's Orchid Awards honor some of the most beautiful locations in our area. And Alana McKissack, Executive Director of Cape Knoxville Beautiful, is here now with the details. Good to see you. Hi, thank you for I having me. I love the name of these awards. I like them already. Great. Is this something that you guys have been doing for a while? Yes, so this is our 38th event okay. um, over the past 40 years. Wow, okay, so so who gets an Orchid Award? What kind of properties are we talking so about? So these awards honor um, really the architectural and development improvements in Knox County, as well as public art and the outdoor spaces. That's awesome. We're pretty lucky here that we have so many beautiful places. Yes, for 40 years we've just had so many great nominees um, and we also like to honor previous nominees as well. That's great. So how does the nomination process work? So it's all public nominations. They usually come from the architects and developers because they're so proud of what they've done in Knoxville and we are so grateful for what they're doing. That's great. Hey, can you tell me about some of the people who've won in the past? Yes, so actually this year we are honoring the Miller Building, so KUB's um, downtown headquarters. They won back in the 90s and they have um, continued that great um, award status, so we're re-honoring them. But really great um, hotels, restaurants, uh, parks that are popping up around town. I love that. Okay, so if um, how, do, how does the nomination process work? Can anybody nominate? Yes, yeah, so anyone from the public's welcome to nominate. It's over the course of a three-month period, so we started last fall and ended at the end of December, and then the judging is from a panel of different people in sectors of Knoxville, and they chose the award winners last month, and so February 25th, we announced who has Ooh. won. Okay, so it's coming up. Do you have a lot of nominations this year? We had almost 50. Wow. So it's it's been a great year. Last year we had upward of 70 nominees. Okay. So it's really, there's so much popping up that we really want to honor everyone. Really neat. All right, anything else going on with you guys? No, just a lot. As usual, we have cleanups every month. Okay. Um, Earth Day, the 50th anniversary is in up. April, so uh -huh. we have a big event happening on Sutherland Avenue, That's and I'll awesome. talk more about that. Well, what I like is that this can involve the family, too, a lot of these events that you guys yes, do. Yes, we like to do family-friendly. Um, beautifying our community is something that's at every age in life you can do. So if people want some more information on this or the Orchid Awards or how they can nominate, where can they go? Yes, KeatonoxvilleBeautiful.org. Uh, tickets on, are on sale until the 21st for the Orchids. All right, Alana, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.